Hey everyone, how's it going? My name's Freeze. Welcome to Freeze Kids TV, the place that shows you how to draw a bunch of really cool characters. And today's a very special video. I'm actually going to be drawing a really close friend of mine. You might know him. You may have seen my YTV. You may have seen my Entertainment Tonight. A uh, big, big hero to a lot of kids all over Canada. And a really cool guy, all in general. And his name is Carlos. And I was talking to him a little while ago, and I'm like, who's your favorite superhero? And he's like, you know, I really like Spider-Man, but I like Miles Morales' Spider-Man. So I was like, hmm, how about I draw Carlos as Spider-Man? So today, we're going to be drawing Carlos as Spider-Man. Your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man at your service. And what you need for this is you're gonna need a pencil that has an eraser. You're gonna need something to draw with. So you're gonna need a piece of paper. And you need something to color with. So you need some markers, pencil crayons or crayons, whichever you like. And if you like today's video, you can check out all of our other videos. And please remember to like and subscribe. Smash that like button. I really want to hear from you guys. And if you have any comments or stuff you want to draw, we can do that as well. But enough about all that. Let's have some fun. Let's draw Carlos as Spider-Man. Get the spider wave. Oh, go ahead. There we go. All right. And now we're going to start our character. So what we'll do first, we're going to start with the eyes. So we're going to draw an oval to go up and around and it's going to draw like that and we'll do the same here. And what we're going to do next is we're going to draw a line is going to bend up like this here. Now these are going to be the pupils. And we're going to have another line that's go under and around to here. And we'll do the same on this side. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to color this in really quickly. Same over here. Cool. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna have a line above the eye and it's gonna go up and around to here. And we'll just draw a little line there. And we're gonna do the same on this side. Cool. What we'll do next is we're gonna draw Carlos's nose. So I have a little line here. And it's just gonna draw like that. Now we're gonna give him a smile. So we'll draw a line here. A little line goes up and a line there. And we'll do the same over here. And to make him a little bit happier, we'll give him a little bit of a bigger smile. Now we're gonna draw the side of his face. So we'll have a line that's gonna go down to about here. We'll do the same on this side. And a line at the bottom 
It's gonna join here. And we're gonna just draw this line and it's gonna join like that. And we're gonna give him a little bit of a beard. So we'll draw a little triangle here. And we're just gonna color that in. And what we'll do now is we'll draw his eyebrows. So the line's gonna bend. It's gonna kind of look like a triangle. So we'll go one, two, and we're just gonna color it inside here. And we'll do the same on this side. So we'll go one and two. And again, we're just gonna color the inside here. A little bit better. There we go. Now what we're gonna do is right over here, have a line that goes in a little bit, and another line over here. So it's just gonna kind of follow the eyebrows, and a line this is the beginning of his hair. A little cross, and I'll join on this side. And we'll also join here. Cool. And for the rest of his hair, I'm going to go up to about here. I'm going to bend like that. And a line across the top like that. Now we're going to add a little detail inside the hair. So we're going to go one, two, go one, and two. So it's going to bend, and I'll go like that. And we'll go one, two, so it's going to go up and join like that. Now for inside of this part, we're gonna color it in black. So I'll just color this in here really quickly. So I use a thicker marker when I'm doing um, big uh, areas of black. And then to make it a little tighter, I come back with the regular marker and I just make those lines a little sharper. Just like that. There we go. All right. So now what we'll do is we'll draw his ears. So we'll go one, two, and three. And we'll do the same over here. We'll go one, two, and three. Now for the inside part of the ear, it's gonna look like a lightning bolt. So it's gonna be like this. And we'll do the same here. And what we'll do now is we're going to draw his neck. So we're going to have a line that's going to bend like that. And another line over here is going to just bend like this. And what we'll do next is I'm actually going to use a red marker for the spider. So we're going to draw a circle. And on the inside, we'll draw another little circle. And we'll have two little antennas. 
and then the bottom legs can go down like that. Make two little legs in here. And then this one can come up a little bit. And the other ones can come just outside like that. And we'll do the same here. Cool. So now that we got the spider, we're gonna draw his shoulders. So it's gonna go one, two, and three. And we'll do the same over here. So go one, two, and three. And on the inside, we'll have a line that goes up like that. And another line that's gonna be like this. We'll also do the same here. And we're gonna draw the side of the first part of my character. So it's just gonna come down a little bit like this here. And we're just gonna have two little points like that. One on this side, and one over here. Awesome. Now, we're gonna have a line, it's gonna make a little V, and it's gonna join on both sides. Then we'll have a line that's going down to about here. And the same on this side. We're gonna draw another V over here. And then we'll go one, two, and three. And we'll do the same here. Cool. Now we're gonna draw a little line here. And for his legs, we're gonna draw two lines, but we're gonna to go all the way down to about here. And another line on this side. Now for the outside part of the leg, we'll have a line to go down. Stop about there. And we'll also do the same over here. Now we're going to draw the shoe. So we're going to go one, two, three, and four. And we'll do the same here. So we'll go one, two, three. Now we're gonna add a little bit of detail on the shoe. So we're gonna draw a little triangle. <clears throat> and a line that's gonna draw like that. And we'll do the same here. We have a little triangle. And a line that's gonna draw like that. Now you're probably wondering where his arms are, so we'll draw those in now. We'll have two lines on each side. We're gonna have a line that ends a little bit like this. That jump line, there we go. And for his form, it's gonna bend a little bit. We'll stop here. Same on this side. And we'll also do the same here. Let's come in a little bit. Draw like that. 
and we'll do the same over here. Now we're going to draw his hands, so we'll draw a line over here. And it's going to kind of look like a mitten. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we'll do the same over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and next July to the seven. There we go. And we're just going to draw a little piece here. It's going to go one, two, and three. And we'll also do the same on the side. Now for his fingers, we're just going to draw three lines. One here, one here, and one over here. And we'll do the same on the side. Cool. And I'm just gonna make this here a little bit smoother. All right. Now we're just gonna add a couple little extra lines. And the lines and draw like this on both sides. And over here, our line's going to curve and join like that. And the same on this side. And I'm just going to tighten these lines up a little bit here. We also have two last lines, one here. And one over here. I'm gonna draw a line here for his teeth. Now I'm gonna color it super quickly, so I'm just gonna do that now. But you can color it however you like. The main colors we're gonna be using is gonna be black, a bit of blue, and some red. For his skin tone, we're gonna use a very light brown color. Alright, so there we have it. We got our Carlos Spider-Man character, awesome. Have a great day, God bless.